Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenball. And I'm Dylan Cassani Birch. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. School officials gathered inside the Grant Mills High School Auditorium on September 18th to have a panel discussion about how to support students socially, emotionally, behaviorally, and academically through equality. After discussion of conflict resolution and creating classrooms that allow students to flourish, a policy draft of the purpose of the Equity Task Force was put forward focusing on investing in students with systematic, sustained, collaborative, inclusive, and focused on high-quality teaching and learning. Last week's meeting was the first in a series of monthly town halls the school system plans to have. The next will address drug awareness and prevention on October 15th at the Dr. James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center. Guyland Mattingly, members of EASMC, are continuing to make a difference in the community by having St. Mary's natives teach children and by being exemplary members of their local teachers' union. Both are highly skilled teachers who care for their students and for the success of their fellow teachers. The mission of the Education Association of St. Mary's County is to educate, organize, and mobilize its members to advance the public education profession. We talk about growing our own, equipping the people who come through our system to be leaders, to be educators. This is an example of everything going right, Jill Morris, president of EASMC said. St. Mary's County Commissioners reviewed nearly two dozen legislative proposals on Tuesday. A few bills seek to address tax revenue, including one floated out by Commissioner Eric Colvin to put a county tax on vaping and e-cigarette products. Maryland counties are not allowed to tax cigarettes or products labeled as other tobacco products, County Attorney David Weisskopf said Tuesday afternoon. However, according to the Tax General article of the Annotated Code of Maryland, vaping is not yet considered an another ta tobacco product. Weisskopf said. According to the state tax code, other tobacco products include cigars or rolls for smoking. At St. Mary's Riken, the head coach of the girls' tennis team, Russ Carrington, cares more about the progress and improvement of the team and the final outcome of each match. Carrington says, The attitude of everybody makes it a real pleasure to work with the team. We are not discouraged, but we just need to keep improving. With a total of 12 girls on the team, Carrington was pleased with the proportions of upperclassmen and newer players, which he hopes will develop over the next few years. On Wednesday night, there was a game between the Leonardtown Raiders and the Patuxent River Panthers. In recent years, the Panthers hockey team has been a force to be reckoned with since they have claimed four 1A South region titles. During the first half of the game, the Panthers were dominating the Raiders with a score of 2-0. Even in the second half of the game, the Panthers were still leading with a score of an additional two points, leaving the final score to a total of 4-0 in favor of the Panthers. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenball. And I'm Dylan Cassani-Birch. Signing off.